This is the plaintiff, Lays Hussein. He says he was hired to host a wine and painting party at the defendant's multi-million dollar mansion. And the lady is stiffing him because he wouldn't strip for her girlfriends. He tried explaining he doesn't do that kind of thing at his painting parties. The rich woman has no right not paying him in full. And he's here in the name of justice suing for the $120 he's owed. This is the defendant, Hannah Kazak. She says the plaintiff showed up an hour late. He didn't bring enough paint so all her friends could participate. And this lawsuit is absurd because she paid him in advance. How he thinks he deserves more money for the job he did is ludicrous. And she refuses to pay him a penny more. She's accused of stripping a guy of his money. All parties, please raise your right hand. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Lays Hussein, yes. you are suing Hannah Kazak? Kazak. Kazak. For $120, the remainder owed to you, according to you, from uh, services that you provided during a painting party. Yes. Okay, what is a painting party? It's a wine and paint. Say it again? Uh, wine and paint. Wine and paint. Sip and, some oh. people call it sip and paint. I don't know. Not with me, it's not, <laughs> but go ahead. <laughs> um, so a few months ago, I was contacted by Hannah uh, through Facebook, um, through a mutual friend. I'm a full-time artist, and that's what I do for a living. And on the weekends, I host wine and paint parties at my studio. Okay. But she so what do people do? They show up at um, your they, studio? Yeah, they come, uh, they come with their dates and their friends, and they paint with their wine. So you have, I, you have what? You have canvases out for I have for canvases and easels set up, and throughout the evening, I help them make a masterpiece. Okay. It's a fun evening night. It's something a little different. And then do you provide the wine or they bring it? No, they, I don't provide the How wine. How much do you charge? I love this. How much do you charge? $35. $35. Uh, a that's a hours. great business. Yeah. What a great well, you're idea. VIP. I won't charge you anything. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> None of that. We don't bribe the judge during sorry. the case. Okay. <laughs> so um, anyway, so she contacted me. She said, hey, I'm having a birthday party for myself. Would you be interested in hosting a party at my location? Had she ever been to your, have you ever been to yeah. his studio? Okay. You had heard about him how? I found him on Facebook, and I looked at his pictures. What were you looking for that you found him on Facebook? I was doing uh, girls only. It was my birthday, so I was celebrating with just girls, just women only. Okay. <laughs> and um, I have a friend that actually owns a paint and wine uh, studio herself, and I could have asked her. She would have done it Why for free. Why didn't you? Because this is a women's only party, so I wanted a male, a ma you know, a young man who's attractive, who's good looking, to be an entertainment for the girls that are going to be at my were party. Were a stripper or a painter? He was a painter. Okay, well. But I had strippers there too. Did you have strippers too? <laughs> yes. This was, what time of day or night was this? It was in the afternoon. It was a day jam with strippers. Unbelievable he hedonism. Okay, so go ahead. No kids, no husbands, just girls. Good for you. Just go ahead. Wives. Um, yeah, so I contacted him. At, I found him through Facebook. I liked the pictures that he showed. And um, I, or I prepared uh, and guaranteed him and paid him for 20 girls. And I told him that any additional girls would be $10. Okay, how did you two communicate? Through Facebook? Through, no. Through? Uh, through text. Through text. Do you have the text? Yes. Do you have the text? Yes, I do. Okay, so go on. He came to my house. I provided everything. Wait, I what was the agreed upon price? I told him that I'm gonna. I, I originally paid him two hundred dollars up front because I guaranteed him twenty girls. Ah. I told him I was gonna prepare tables and chairs with tablecloths and everything for so twenty what girls. So did he tell you the price would be ten dollars a person? No, we 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 discussed it, and I said, okay, I'll give you two hundred dollars. I have twenty girls. More than twenty girls, I'll give you ten dollars each girl. And if there's gonna be more additional, more than twenty girls that start painting. So after twenty girls, ten dollars. You know, if it could be thirteen, okay. I'll give is you. Is that 10. in the is that in the text? Yes. Okay, so go yes. on. So um, so we agreed on that, and um, I bought the easels. I bought all the equipment. I bought more easels, thinking and hoping that more girls would paint. So you know, I wanted to, experience, to get the experience. And um, he said that, okay, fine, so I provided everything, but I couldn't provide the paint. I told him, so he's on my text, and it's proof, he said he would bring the paint. And he didn't bring enough paint. So Enough during, paint for how many people? Well, it was supposed to have been more than 20. Right. I had and 40, how many, 50 girls. How many actually painted? I clearly told them that, I, that I'm buying 70 easels just in case, just to be safe. So how many p people so, painted? Uh, 12. So did they run out of paint during the party? Almost. Because during the party, he comes up to me and tells mm -hmm. me, I don't have enough paint. Can I go and run to whatever, AC Moore or, or to go buy it? I said, no, because it's a half an hour there, a half an hour back. He was starting to make me nervous. I'm like, you can't do that. You can't just leave the party in the middle and go and get supplies. All you had to do was just bring paint. And he didn't, he didn't even bring that. 
Did Plus, you say all that to him? Of course. And uh, did, uh, what time was he supposed to be there? Okay, he was. we agreed, which is on my text, that he's going to be there at 1230. I told him that clearly that the girls are coming at 1 o'clock. He came, he's texting me at 1.30, ask, 1.28, asking me, where are you? I'm here. You know, what do I do? And I told him, when you come there, you just start setting up. I don't need to be Wait, home. where were you? How was he I wasn't home. I had to get out. You're late to your own party? No, no, because, well, yeah, yes. But that's okay. My girls know me. <laughs> <laughs> How many people went to the party? Like 50 girls. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now, um, the girls who do paint, paint. So yeah. what goes wrong that brings me here? Okay, well, what goes He asked you for more money. When did he ask you for more money? The, the, after my party, the next day or the, the second day. And he says that I need, uh, that I owe him another $130. And then when, I fi when finally we spoke, I'm like, what are you talking about? I paid you already 200 because I paid him way before he even came to my party. And then he said... And he said, no, but no, because, I because 12 girls painted. And I'm like, yeah, and I paid you 200 which is more than the 12. And, and actually, he said 13. I corrected him and told him 12. And I paid you more than uh, how, how, you know, how many uh, girls actually in reality painted. So I don't know. He wanted more money. And well, um, what reason did he give for wanting more money? Because according to him, the 200 was not to be applied to the girls? I don't know why he wanted more. All right, well, let's find out. So... You, uh, you get hired to do the job, and is there a contract that yes, you write up? Um, Not an invoice you send later when everything hits a fan. A contract that both of you sign before the party. PayPal is the only contract we had, and right okay, below it said on. $10 no, per no. person. No, no, a contract is something where both sides read it and know what is expected of each person. It means you're giving up your time and talent, and she's giving up X for exactly these things. That's There's what a no contract. solid contract. That's no. what I'm asking. All right. So, but there are numerous texts, right? Yes. Okay. So, what is your understanding of what the contract is? My understanding of the contract is she said it would be a $200 deposit and $10 per person once they start painting. So, the $200 was a because I charge $35 per person. Well, no, you wait, hold on. You charge $35 per person when yes. they're coming to your venue. Yes. You're providing the wine. Yes. You're providing the easels. Yes. You're providing the... So, no, yes. this is a different thing. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that you expected there to be a lot more people. So does she. She bought mm -hmm. 70 easels. Mm -hmm. um, 70... 70. Easels? 70. So, yeah, easels. Like the... What on earth did you... Did you return the No, the canvases yeah. and easels are totally different No, things. I know. But 70 easels... I provided and 70 the easels. canvases? Oh, you provided the canvases. No, I provided the easels. She bought the I canvas. I the canvases. Oh, okay. All right. So this is big. All right, so, so you, you're thinking that it's... See, this is why contracts are important, folks. You think you're talking the same language, and you're not. So now what I'm going to have to do is look at your texts and see if your texts are clear about what the language is. Mm -hmm. Because either you're right, and the $200... That's just yours, and then mm -hmm. from then on in, it's ten dollars a person. That's mm -hmm. your position. Yes. Or she's right, and she's quote guaranteeing you twenty girls, and that's what the. T it's clear then that the two hundred is going to be used up first before you get your first ten dollar bill. Get it? All right. Which is it? Are you looking at your text? Let me see the text on your phone. Do you have it yeah. up, or you want? Yeah, me it's to pretty. It's pretty okay. lengthy, but I have the original first. Yeah, yeah. Few. That's what I'm looking. For. All right. So while I'm, while I am uh, scrolling to this to find what it is I'm looking for. Why don't you tell me how the evening went? Okay. Tell me about what happened. So happens. she said the guests will come at 2 o'clock. I got there by 12.30. To set up takes no more than 15 minutes. She wanted somebody to meet and greet her guests with a, a Paris artist hat and a pink T-shirt, which she provided and wanted, back the, wanted it back right away. So a pink okay. T-shirt. She's... She wanted entertainment. She wanted a clown. Yeah, but I'm sorry. Hold on. Well, I don't know that that necessarily means clown. Oh, uh, it, gets, it gets better. Got okay, but but tell me when when do you first learn that that's what she wants? When I got there. Okay, so go on. So I set up. Takes no more than 15, 20 minutes to set up. I've been doing this for three years. I know how to, you know, wham, bam, boom. And so as the night goes on, the guest comes, and I brought about maybe maybe ten of my own personal paintings. So the guest decided to paint one particular piece. So I put that on the main um, easel, and then I went about 12 people, maybe 13. It seemed like one lady was painting, but then she wasn't, which I changed the invoice. So the night went on. I can't sit there and paint. I have to help people. So I was going throughout and helping people with their brush strokes and whatnot. So as the, as the evening went on, the strippers came. All right, so the strippers come. All the guests were not into the strippers. They were like, these guys were like all oh, steroid <laughs> body implants. It was pretty bad. So. Oh, that stripper's a stripper. So, How picky so, can you be on a stripper? So, what, they look too good? So what? her guests were, and even her was like, hey, 
we want you. And they're tugging on my shirt. I'm like, no, I'm okay. Wait, wait, no. wait. Who's tugging on your shirt? Her, the, her guest. She didn't tug and on your shirt. And she even said to me, hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come I on, said, what? Go strip. When they leave to go oh, strip. Okay, but were they kidding, you know, like kind no, of flattering it, you or what? Even if it was kidding or flattering. No, nobody should be touching you, but she didn't touch you. No, no, nothing like physical. But, you know, they were just playing around with me. I'm laughing it off okay. as the night goes on. And then um, <laughs> what really bothers me about this whole situation was um, Did the you night guys was do over. that? Did you say, hey, take it off, take it off? Because if yeah. a man did that to a woman who was there as an artist... <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. So as as the, as the night as the evening went on, um, the party was about to be over. Nobody else wanted to paint, so I didn't run out of paint. I would have run out of paint of the seventy quote unquote people painted, but I did not run out of paint. So as I'm go as I'm walking away, she goes to me, "Hey, Lace, I really like that painting. You know, it's my birthday. You know, do you think I could get one for free?" I said, "You know, what, Hannah, you've been so nice to me today. Happy birthday. Here's my gift to you." I did not have to do that. So when I, before I left, I said, Hannah, do you want to pay the remaining 120 now, or do you want me to send you a PayPal invoice? Oh, you could pay me. Um, just send me the invoice later, and I'll pay for it once the party dies down. Mm. So the par- I go home the next day. Hey, Hannah, I sent you that invoice. Happy birthday. You know, hope you had a good night. Nothing. And I even have uh, a picture of all the 12 people that were painting at her location. So finally, I got in touch with her, and she Why just went on a rampage. Why would you think going to take a shirt off? I didn't. I didn't need him to take a shirt. I had two strippers. I didn't need him to take a shirt. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey. Eleven years. So, is it okay that these women egg this guy on to strip? I mean, I think that it's okay as long as the boy is not uncomfortable. I guess at that point. So let me ask you something. You know what I'm going to ask. We're going to turn the tables. If there were guys there and they asked a woman to do it, who's a painter, you'd have a problem with that. Well, I mean, again. I guess it just depends. Really? I mean, I think. I don't know. That's what I think. I don't believe that's what you think, going inside the courtroom. I needed him primarily to do the painting, to concentrate on that. I already had two strippers that did much more than what he could have done. And were better looking than him. (laughs) So when I finally got in touch. The the paintings that you're texting to her, are are those yours? Yes. Okay. why is your shirt up in this painting? (laughs) <laughs> Maybe that's why people are asking you to take your shirt off. It's like, you know. I mean, these are the paintings you send her. Yeah. Your paintings are great. Thank you. You're a very talented painter. The, all the ones that you send her are ones that you did. Correct. Now, I've looked at the text, and I don't see anything clarifying what the original agreement was. How about the check? Do you have the check? Maybe the check has a memo. It was I have a copy of it. I have a copy of the invoice that I paid him the $200. No, because that part's not in dispute, the actual handing over of 200 oh. It's like, if it was a check, maybe there's something in the memo line. Is there something in the memo line of PayPal? Um, on my PayPal, it's uh, right in below, $10 per person. Oh, let me see that. Right Which is what I paid him. Who writes that note? I he write. wrote it. And when do you write it? When I send the invoice. And the invoice pre... The invoice to her comes before... Before. Well, it's kind of sounding like she's right then, that 200 wasn't for your troubles, because you don't write 200 plus $10 per person. You only write $10 per person. When a judge is trying to interpret a contract, the best way to do it would be to read it. I would just read your contract and tell you who went wrong where. Barring that, the best way to do it is to ask the parties, well, what did you guys agree on? which 99% of the time, when there's no written contract and there's litigation in front of me, the parties don't agree, which is why they're in front of me. Okay. And then the next best way is to try to reconstruct it from things that cannot either outright lie or shade things their way and say it their way. Sometimes it's pretty clear, like if there had actually been what she said there was going to be, which was I guaranteed him to, if I had seen that, this would have been over a while ago. Sometimes it's not that clear, like in this case. The thing that ends up concerning me and tipping that tiny scale where I don't know where to go is the $10 a person. That tips the scale in her favor because that's what she's saying it is. It's $10 a person and I guaranteed him 20 women. Um, As opposed to what you're saying it is, which is it's $200 plus it's $10 a person after that. That's what I would expect to see in your own notes that you write if that was really the understanding back then. I'm not saying that that wasn't your understanding and that you're lying trying to get money. I'm saying I understand how that's not her understanding, okay? 
Based on that, my verdict in this case is for the defendant. Good luck, folks. So the defendant prevails in this lawsuit. Mr. Hussein has just come out of the courtroom. It was your own yeah. scribbling on that PayPal thing that kind of killed your case for you. The judge Lesson certainly learned. did give you uh, ample opportunity in the trying to win it. What do you think about the outcome? It's a lesson learned. You know what I mean? The 120 is not going to make or break anyone yeah, I know. here. It wasn't a big amount of money. Yeah, really. it's not a big deal. Um, it's a lesson learned. Next time we'll be more detailed, um, have a little more right. information on the invoices. And um, don't let a fake smile fool you because um, okay, that's what right. definitely fooled me this time. Sounds like a fun party, though. It, yeah. Sounds like what you do is very interesting indeed. <laughs> Thank you Thank very you much. very much. You must sign some documents. Ms. Kazak, if you'll step out here. Uh, I'm interested to know about the party. How did it really work out? It was great, and it's a shame that it really turned out that way because I thought that I would be able to use him for my future parties, for kids' yeah. parties, kids' paint parties, which I clearly told him, but... Didn't do it. it. It's his loss. Bottom line, who, what was the biggest draw? Was it the painting and the painter, or was it the strippers? The strippers. <laughs> did they really strip? Yes. They did, huh? Yes. Okay, all right. Well, we learned some. Thank you very much. Congratulations. All right, Harvey, what do you think? Okay, I mean, look, when you make a contract with somebody, it is always a good idea in writing to lock down precisely what you're supposed to get. And that will do it for this case. Litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.